my, my. How unfortunate for you to die. I have to express my true feelings, though. I'm in love with you. I just saw you. Yes, yes. Looks like you're the last one out, buddy. <laughs> on Agatha Christie's novel. Okay. Orion Express was about a group of people seeking revenge for the death of a mutual friend, Daisy Armstrong. Daisy is a symbolic creature and character representing the Lindbergh baby kidnapping. Anyways, a Miss Handman masterminds the entire murder plot. <laughs> it takes place on the Orient Express, a train running from Istanbul to a big blank, so that Everyone involved gets revenge. The plot is very complicated, which is one of the hallmarks of Agatha Christie's mystery novels. But after all, it was okay. Oh, Karen, that was wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pleased with how this review has been going, and all of you have been working so hard, except Michael. <laughs> Michael, Miss, I... Miss Tom, that's so mean. I'm actually smart. I'm not that dumb. Well, prove it to me, Michael. And now I want you to think back into your little pea brain and try and remember Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> what? Where am I? Who are you? We are all what's left of the Keebler Elves. <laughs> you killed my wife, you bloody pirate! But. Shut up! All in favor of a cook off, say hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, wait, please. I have a wife. It's 16 children. They need me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Nonsense! You must die now! Oh, yes. Here's my wife now. The one you stepped on. I have two broken legs, seven broken nails that took me an eternity to do. Come on, man. Come on. Broken legs, broken nails. Come on, man. Let's chop them up and have a feast. Hello! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have an idea. What? Are we gonna torture him? No, I know. Let's put girl clothes on him and laugh. No, you fools. Let's make him our slave. You mean for undisclosed favors, right? I don't know quite what you mean by that. But it depends. Let's make rules. 
What kind Federal. of rules? Yeah, what kind of rules? Okay, the first rule is he must obey each and every rule that we come up with. Secondly, he must offer complete protection from outside enemies. Third... We can make him run Ruby's feet! Oh, oh no, no, sick. no, 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 Sick! Precisely. The third rule is he must rub Ruby's nasty, horrid little brown feet. <laughs> From now on until the day he's set free. Yeah! <laughs> we have decided to let you live, but you must be our slave and follow our three rules until we set you free. <laughs> well, what are the three rules then? What kind of rules? If you kindly shut your bloody face up, we'll tell you. Action. First off, you must do everything that we tell you to do. Secondly, you must protect us from any enemies that we... And last but not least, you must perform the unbearable, nasty, torturous task of rubbing Ruby's feet. Oh, oh no, 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 Sick! <laughs> Michael! Symbolize <laughs> <laughs> a culture and thirst for a new order of government. <laughs> To me, the giant resembles an outdated parliament that no longer quenched its people's colossal thirst. Yes, indeed. What do you think, Gustav? Michael, I take it all back. You're not half stupid. You're totally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> My class, listen, um, we're almost done with the review. You've been doing really well, but um, a few more topics to cover. Ruby, I want to know from you, what was your favorite topic this year, the favorite thing we studied? This favorite thing was bar reading and then the women. Really? I'm so pleased to hear that. What did you like so much about that book? Um, come on, Ruby, answer the question. God. Everyone, let me have a it. Oh, please. God. <laughs> Especially for minorities. Why are you so out of it? <laughs>